Hi guys, my name is FireFi and welcome back to a brand new episode of Shapes.io where we check out the community puzzles, see what they've made, see in what different ways we can destroy our brain today. So, as always, we're going to do five puzzles, two easy, two medium and one hard. And also let me know if you want me to do less easy ones and more hard ones. I, I felt like this was a decent balance, but... If you want to see other ones, just let me know down in the comments. So let's just get straight into it. So our first easy puzzle is called Quad Merge. Um, well, 10 Quad Merge. I don't know why I've got 10 there, but we may find out. The author is by uh, Blue Synopsis. Average duration of 54 seconds and a completion rate of 96.8. Now, let's take a look at this. So there's a lot of stacking involved. And I'm also guessing one of these has to split. Um, I don't know if it matters which one, because you can't do two splits into that. So hopefully it doesn't matter. It's mostly going to be this one because I'm guessing it's a shorter distance. So that means you can get there quite faster. If you're going around, it might take a lot longer. I don't know. It, it makes sense in my head. That's all that matters, right? So it looks like we're stacking a lot. So what are we stacking? It looks like we're just stacking in order of this. So the star, the windmill, the square, and then the circle. Quad merge. So we can't do that, but we can do it like this, right? And then we can do that. And that. I think that's it. Now, will we get enough to do this? Let's see. It's slowly going up. And there you have it. Thank you, Blue Synopsis. That was a good, easy puzzle to start with. Not too brain numbing, not too bad. Okay, so we've got another one here called Easy Floating Layers. Author is uh, KTSA Team Pure. We've had this uh, person on the channel quite a few times actually. But there is a main reason why I want this puzzle. So first let's just talk about this. Average duration, 52 seconds. Completion rate, 90.5%, which is a decent, easy puzzle. Now, two reasons why I chose this puzzle. One, my weakest point is floating layers. I, I'm really bad at it. So it would be nice to sort of try and understand that better. And two, I want to say thank you for providing a solution for one of the contest puzzles for last week's puzzle. If you haven't seen last week's one, it's pretty cool. We uh, went through all the five winners of the contest that um, Shapes IO did. And the one I couldn't do, uh, I looked at Team Kill's solution on the Discord and it helped me a lot. So thank you very much for that. But let's get straight into this one. Now, I'm absolutely, my, my mind just can't comprehend floating objects so <laughs> this might seem easy to some but this might be absolutely difficult for me so what we what are we looking at here so i'm guessing this is just a simple stack right yeah so that's that done so that's that's the easy part so with this one so is this has this made? Oh, okay, I kind of get it. So obviously this goes on top, so this goes to the second layer, which reduces the size, which makes a small square here. Now, if I cut this, what I'm not sure about is if I cut this, does this not become a big square or does it stay at a floating square? Let's see. So we're going to rotate this maybe like that. And we can use the new function to see the alt. Yeah, so we're going to cut that now. And what is that making? Oh, it is making that. So that, okay. So, okay, I kind of I kind of get floating there a bit better now. Now, when I did play the main game uh, a while back, you did have to do some floating layers, and I figured it out then, but I completely forgot to do it. But that does make a little bit more sense to me. So thank you very much, and let's go to the next puzzle. Okay, so we're on our first medium puzzle. 
Now, this puzzle is called Four Halves. It's by Moot Moot. Uh, average duration of 54 seconds and 33.3% completion rate. Now, I chose this puzzle because it has a low amount of people playing it. And that means it has a low likes and a low completion rate. Now, I did that because I want to try some puzzles that have not been played too much and hopefully that sort of creates awareness of the puzzle and other people can go and try it out. Maybe you haven't seen this puzzle or maybe it's a new puzzle. So it's good. I think it's good to just try and check out puzzles that not everyone has played as well. So let's try out this one. So four halves. So we want to make two halves or four halves actually. That's why the puzzle is called four halves. A half a circle, half a square and half a circle, half a square, red and blue. Now, to make things difficult, they've obviously put it on different sides. Great. But this bit seems rather simple. So that's that done. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I see where the problem is here. So if we put that there, how are we going to get that to come out here, right? So we've got to think of a place to pull it. Where it can... Hmm, maybe, maybe. Whoops, don't know why that went down. So maybe we can put this like this? No. That won't work. That will not work at all. Hmm. So the main problem is this red one here. And trying to get this blue one in here. We're gonna to have to use tunnels. I'm I'm pretty sure we have to use a tunnel. But if we do something like oops, 54% completion rate. I'm failing so bad just doesn't work like that. Um, not 54%, 54 seconds. Am I missing something really simple here? So we want this going in there and this going in there like this, right? Can it work like this? Not really. If uh, this goes here, this will need to come out. So do we have to use this, this area? We have to utilize this area somehow. But I feel like that's not really gonna work like that. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I'm thinking about this way too, basically. Do we need to cut it? Is that what we're doing? I think that's what we're doing. So we're stacking that. And we need to stack this one somehow.
No, I feel like that's just overcomplicating it. Because why stack it together if we're just going to have to cut it? This is definitely going to take me a lot longer than 54 seconds. This is already taking me a lot longer than 54 seconds. Um, okay, let me do like a 500% time skip and um, you can watch me fail in um, fast speed, in ultra speed. Right, there you go, got it, got it. I uh, I think the problem is I look at it too basically. Like they've given you this sort of hint that, okay, this is what you need. And you automatically think that's how I got to do it by putting the two blues together. But it's a red herring. <laughs> you got to make both layers first, the bottom layer and the top layer. Then you connect it, then you cut it. Not too bad, not too bad. It's a it's a little tricky one. It's a little tricky one. I like it. So thank you very much, Moot Moot. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, so our next puzzle is called We Need Blue Die. The author is Broken Robot. This is the first time I think I've had this person's puzzle on this channel. So welcome. Um, average duration is 3 minutes 47 seconds and completion rate is 71.7%. Quite a few people have played it. So um, this is a, a very uh, intimidating completion rate for how many people actually have played it. So let's take a look at this. So the puzzle name really gives a hint of what you want if you want the blue dye, obviously. But we don't have blue dye. So my obvious solution is to cut it and to reconnect it the way we need to connect it. Now. Uh, the person's taken away objects that you don't need, which is really nice. Maybe we cut it in four. Can I? If I press bolt, oh, oh, I love this. I love this. Um, so what do we need to get rid of? We need to get rid of this one. So, and then we need to split this into two. So we need to do something like this or not hmm cuz i want to what i want to do doesn't have enough space maybe i don't need to use this four splitter maybe i'll use a different splitter we'll see Maybe using the two split would be better actually, the, the two cutter. So we've got both shapes. Now, technically, we should be able to just delete that one and make two of this and connect them together. Is that a thing? Would that give me enough shapes though? Um, we'll stack them. Ooh. This stacker doesn't like me. Hmm. How can we get this to come out here? Unless we do something like, I don't know if this will work. I don't think I'll have enough space to deal with everything there. Yeah, I definitely won't have enough space. Maybe 
something like that. But then we have to stack it there, which doesn't work. Once we stack it, it's fine. But in order to stack it, we're going to need to rotate this halfway. And we're going to need to come around here. Now, is there any other way we can do this? That won't work. So again, I'm one, I think the key here is the cutter that you use. Um, does this work? Maybe. Why are you going like that? Come on. And then we need to rotate by 180 degrees. Yeah? Cool. One thing I want to try. Um, I want to try and not load up the thing. So I'm going to clear the items and see if it works naturally. Okay, that's fine. So, thanks for the uh, puzzle, broken robot. And... Let's go on to the next puzzle. Okay, for our last puzzle. It's called Recoloring. Um, I'm sure that's pretty sure that's the old uh, Windows logo. Um, it is, the author is Site Nando. Average duration of 10 minutes and 45 seconds and completion rate of 26.3. It's got a decent amount of people playing it. So 57 uh, people have played it or tried it and 12 people have liked it. Now, I got a feeling this one is gonna destroy our brains. <laughs> so, let's just get straight into it. So what are we doing here? We need to make white, we know that. And then we've got blue, yellow, and red. So, the thought is of what colors do I wanna to use to make white? So we've got a yellow down here, and then we can make a Hmm. We can make a purple. No, we can't make anything with that actually. We'd have to um we'd have to get one of these colours down here to make a white. So a green or a red. So that's what is also going to be tricky about this one. They do give us a lot of space here. So I don't think we're doing the color mixing up here. I don't think we are. But this also could be used for a cutter. And again, they've taken away the stuff that we don't need. But it could, this also could be used for this. So if we look here, blue is the top here, white, yellow, and red. So we don't need green. So we're going to use the green and the yellow to make white, which is going to go on this one. Okay, so let, let the fun begin. So color mixing. Color mixing is fun. Now, right now I'm going to just put that there. I'm going to put pieces down and see what we can do. So what is that one? That one is blue. So I'm guessing we can do something like that. That would create a blue top square. Cool, I'm happy with that. Then we need to make a white yellow square, a white, a white yellow, a white square here. So the white is actually, oh, the white won't be able to go in there. Let's get this yellow out. We're going to need something like this. 
something like this. I'm gonna leave that open for now, to see what we can do with that. Let's get the red square. So this is gonna be a red square, which is pretty straightforward again. Nope, wrong one. It would be nice if I knew how to use these painters. Right. So again, we've got some symmetry here. I like symmetry. I really like symmetry. So with this, we bring there. So the yellow is going to be this square here, and the white is going to be this square. So if we get the yellow in, now we've got to be careful about stopping this. So let's get that like that. It'll just be like that for now. We're gonna we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that. Now how are we gonna get yellow around here? Can we do if we do something like this, that will get blocked off. So we mostly can't do something like that. If we turn this around. And move this back. It's all part of the process. There we go. So that should get the yellows done. Let's just clear the items and let everything go in there so we can see what outputs we got. Yeah, cool. I like that. I'm liking that. Now we've got this last one, which is going to be the white. Then we've got to put it all together. So to make the white, What can we do here? That won't be able to go there. It won't be able to go there. That's going to block that. I feel like here is a safe place to pull it. But still, the out will be there. We've still got to connect everything together. So, We've got to be very careful where we're putting items. I do want to try and get an initial thing down. So then we can sort of rearrange as we need. Even there, it's not going to work because if we put a painter there, it'll block that. So I feel like the, even there, the painter can't go in. Ooh, where can the painter go for this one? It might have to go somewhere completely random, like here or something. Let's get the stacking process in place. So we could stack these two like this. And that will make, that makes that side great. And then we need to stack these two. So how are we going to do that? And then we need to stack it all together, most probably something like this, with both lines going in. So again, this color thing can't be there. I'm just looking at the time as well. I don't want this episode to go on forever. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing here? I think the problem here is making the white.
Is there anything else we can do to make white? And sorry for the long silences. I'm really trying to trying to see what I'm missing here. How can we get this around here? Sorry about that. Um, just had someone at the door. All right. Let's get back into it. Uh, what I'll do, again, I will do a 500% time skip and we'll try and get this one done. I'll see you guys in a sec. Yeah, so there is definitely a reason why this is at 26%. I've been playing about with it and as you guys might have seen with the, the speed run, but I cannot figure this out. It, this white color, that's um, it's hard to mix and then add into this. Maybe I'm trying to stick with a design that just doesn't work. I need to broaden my horizons with designs but yeah I'm looking at it and I just don't know because if I use another cutter it would just take way too much to um, cut them could work but wouldn't it be the same outcome I don't know. I don't know, but that's all I've got time for today. Leave a comment down below if you figured this one out or at me in the Discord with a solution for this one. Um, I might, I may try again offline, but yeah, definitely hit me up with a solution. This one's baffling. 26% completion rate. Let's get that completion rate higher, guys. Let's get that completion rate higher. So, Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.